Good morning, YouTubers and RV fans. So today I am moving in, as you can see from Myrtle, she's all getting moved out of. But I wanna introduce you to somebody who is really awesome and her name is Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. Hi. Rosemary is the delivery coordinator here at General RV in Plant City, Florida. And I have to tell you something, Rosemary is a gem. Let me tell you a little story. Uh, I told Rosemary this yesterday, but I want to tell you guys. Rosemary called me on the phone um, as I was driving down from Flo driving down from Louisiana, and she wanted to help me um, be coordinated with uh, my delivery of the RV. And so, Rosemary, I just want to say thank you because that phone call alone made me feel completely connected and a part of what was going on here at General RV. The process was seamless, it was smooth. You guys have an awesome operation from Joe, my salesman, who was wonderful. Who's awesome. Kind right? of a kind of a crazy hoop. He's crazy, but yeah. awesome. <laughs> to Brian in finance, who was awesome, um, just as crazy. And all the people here at General RV have been amazing. So thank you so much, because thank I don't know if you realize what your role does. Your role makes the customer feel connected to the dealership and like everything is going to go off without a hitch so thank you thank you so if you guys get a chance come visit rosemary at general rv come visit joe and all the peeps here um and i'm going to show you more of the rv later on today but for right now i'm still moving okay so i wanted to give you a little bit of a how well the move the, the move has been crazy i haven't even given you a tour of the rv yet but this is uh boxes here and stuff all over the place vacuum cleaners and uh, I'm gonna give you a formal tour of this place um, after I get moved in but it is a wonderful RV but as you can see not a lot of storage so I got a lot of stuff stuck over here by the bed so I have to figure out I got a, I got two bags going to uh, Goodwill as well so and uh myrtle's almost empty so let's go over and see her for a moment it has been absolutely crazy moving um you know when you move into an rv you think okay it's all good you know you've downsized man i didn't downsize enough i sure didn't uh-oh anyway you think you moved into an RV and you've downsized, but I just haven't downsized enough. So, but everything in here is all empty and clean. Very excited about that. Nothing in there. Nothing up there. I guess. Um, I think I've got the bathroom cleaned out. Nope, I still have some stuff over here I gotta clean. Yep, got that. All right, so I wanted to show you a little bit about this this move. Um, at, when I opened the video, I introduced you to Rosemary, and she's just been real sweet um, and has helped a great deal. Um, she had some porters come over today, and they helped me move a lot of the boxes and like clothes, and we emptied the bays pretty quickly, so that was nice. Um, so now my challenge is to find a place to live. Um, the RV parks here in Florida are hugely expensive. And uh, I just don't understand what, uh, why you wanna pay $900 to park your RV and still have to pay electricity. Um, it doesn't make sense to me. Is it because we're in Florida? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just giving you an outside look at the RV. It is a Wildwood uh, by Heritage Glen at Hyperlite. The weight on this thing is 5,300 pounds. Of course, that was before I loaded it with all my stuff. So God knows how many pounds I'm at now. I probably should take it through and get it measured or weighed. Uh, very nice back profile. Love this canopy. Absolutely love this canopy. The canopy is really pretty. And it goes in and out. It's electric, so it's pretty cool. All right, I'm about to run out of battery, so I need to go ahead and um, get this camera plugged in. I'll be back in a little while. 
Hey everybody, um, I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a summary and a synopsis of the last week to tie out this video um, and kind of give you some ideas as to how amazing this week has been. You know, for those of you who have followed my channel from the beginning, you know some of the challenges I had with Myrtle. Unfortunately, with those challenges, um, I never really gained any confidence in her ability to take me across the country uh, and be on the road a lot. So I ended up having really a failure to launch as far as I'm concerned. Um, close to two years uh, on the road, well not quite two years, but almost two years on the road. And the big challenge for me was just, um, you know, worrying about a breakdown or worrying about everything. I tend to be a high anxiety guy anyway. so. It just didn't work out for me. But um, I had talked some time ago about changing up my setup and you know wanting to take that process slow. And so it's been about a year since I initially introduced the idea of getting a truck and a travel trailer. And a lot of um, planning and a lot of hard work. So the fact that this all happened is amazing. I'm still kind of in shock. Um, I was talking to my brother the other day and I said, eh, I think I'm going to wake up from this dream and be like really disappointed. <laughs> anyway, I, I kind of want to give you a little bit of a summary of what happened. So um, I bought the RV on Monday this week, as amazing, this past week, as amazing as that is. And they told me, they said, you need to get the RV down to, you know, Plant City, Florida uh, by Friday. It was their month end closeout. I got a good deal on the, on the RV. Um, and so I said, okay, and and all of a sudden the fear and intrepidation and everything associated uh, Was hitting me square in the face and you know a lot of times people talk about facing their fears and I and and, and I faced a lot of fears You know in preparation and getting ready to get on the road working from the road being sustainable on the road There's so many things that you face when you decide to go full-time in an RV um, you know, you face your, your own feelings of, of, of self-limits. And when you really come to the end of the day and you face those fears, you can really accomplish almost anything. And uh, case in point, I drove this RV 831 miles, first of all, without any mechanical issues. Um, of course, Myrtle um, has been a very good RV for me since I've had her. My dad and I put a lot of work into her before she went on the road and I just never put it to the test. I just never did. And that's crazy to let fear, anxiety, stand in the way of living a dream. But all in all, I have to say too, that the big thing for me is I just didn't need a big motorhome. Having a truck and a trailer is absolutely fine. The big deal for me also is I didn't want to deal with three engines. I didn't want to deal with a, a motorhome engine. I didn't want to deal with a generator. And I didn't want to deal with you know a tow vehicle. That takes me to the other challenge that I had, and that is the tow vehicle. Um, I had a, a Chevy Cruze diesel that um, I needed to um, two wheels up tow, um, and it was just tough to get a reasonably priced um, tow dolly. And I have to tell you, maybe it's because I'm cheap, but I refused to pay you know fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars for a tow dolly. I just did, and unfortunately, that hugely limited my. Um, my travels and if you recall from the video I made uh, I'm on my way mom where I talked about um, you know just doing it just getting the renting it and going and I did I rented it and I went again um, another uh, face your fear moment because I had never towed anything in my life so when you do face your fears it's amazing what you you can accomplish so I, I did get down to Plant City and so the last 24 hours has been spent finishing out the paperwork um, and moving out of Myrtle. Now, when we talk about downsizing, I have to tell you, I thought I did a good job downsizing, but hell no, I didn't. First of all, the Winnebago itself has a lot of bay storage. And while I didn't really have a whole lot of stuff in the bays, I had a lot of stuff in the RV, namely clothing. I don't know what possessed me to bring all the clothes that I brought. Today, I moved all of those clothes out into the new RV, and I also have like three bags of, um, of clothes that I'm giving to Goodwill. 
and I'm probably going to give two more, three more bags to Goodwill. Um, I'm carrying clothes around, and of course, you know, I, I go up and down in size. Unfortunately, that's just how I am. That's how I've been my whole life. And I'm on, I'm on the downward slow now, slide, because I was in the upward slide when I was in Louisiana. And, you know, I have all kinds of sizes of clothes. And it's like, look it, I, I, can't, I can't carry all those clothes with me all the time. The new RV doesn't have as much storage as the, as the motorhome did. So downsizing becomes an issue again. But anyway, I moved everything out of Myrtle today, cleaned her all up. So she has, um, she is no longer in my possession. She is now uh, owned by the dealership, and um, that's good. Um, and I'm also very happy about it. But you know, there's there's that moment of melancholy, I guess. You know, um, Merle and I've been through a lot together, and she taught me a lot about RV life, um, a lot about RV life. So today I stand at the threshold of something new and I'm hoping that this is going to propel me um, further into traveling and exploring and meeting a lot of you all, my wonderful, amazing subscribers. The amount of people that have reached out to me over the last week has been amazing and I thank you so much. The channel is growing again, which is extremely exciting. I'm very happy to see the channel grow again. Um, hopefully I can put out um, continue to put out good content that make people want to watch the videos and hopefully the videos are good. Normally I like to respond to everybody um, that comments on my videos and it's unfortunate that I haven't been able to and so I apologize for that. Um, future videos hopefully I'll be able to respond to everyone like I have been. But to everybody else thank you so much. You guys have really been a great source of support as you have from day one. If you remember that first launch video I did um, where I said I'm a nervous wreck. I was looking around the house and it was empty and it was really the day I needed to go. And I got in the RV and I started videoing and I said to you guys, wow. And at that time I had 642 subscribers and I said I feel like all 642 of you are coming with me. And um, I still feel that way today. And just so you know how much I appreciate the fact that you actually watch my videos and the support I get from your comments and from all of your guidance and help. Um, so with that said, the new chapter begins. Um, there'll be some changes to the channel and I'm excited about that. I'm gonna be changing my logo and branding out a little bit. Um, but everything changes today and that's the truth. And for those of you who want to get on the road, don't allow fear to stop you. Plan, be prepared, do the best you can do to get a setup that's gonna work for you. But don't let fear stand in the way of you doing something that can be amazing in your life. Thank you all for following me on the channel. Thanks for following the journey of Trading Myrtle. The next set series of videos is going to be a tour of the new RV um, and uh, hopefully videos from on the road because I'm leaving Plant City tomorrow and I will be heading south. I was originally going to go to Jacksonville to hang out with Mike and Dawn and I still may do that but I have to wait on some uh, computer equipment from work so and it's being shipped to my brother's house so I have to be there but once I get that equipment uh, I'll probably head up to Jacksonville and hang out with uh, Dawn and Mike for uh, a, a brief period before taking on my newest adventure. So thanks again everybody. Have a great day. I kind of wanted to give you all a bird's eye view of this gorgeous sunset tonight. I hope the camera can capture all the colors. It is absolutely stunning. Okay, that's all.